guys welcome back to my channel thanks for dropping by today first and foremost I want to wish everybody out there a very happy Labor Day this is uh, the Labor Day weekend the Labor Day holiday and um, Labor Day signifies the last hurrah of summer regardless of the fact that many areas of California are reaching record-breaking temps way over 100 degrees and Los Angeles is very warm as well but regardless of that whether the weather wants to cooperate or not September 22nd marks the first day of fall and I love fall so I'm ready for that but um, let's go back to present day time so yes happy Labor Day to everybody out there um, in addition to wanting to say happy Labor Day I also wanted to um, in this video celebrate another holiday that happens in September and September is actually um, National Honey Month so in, in 1989 the National Board of Honey deemed September National Honey Month and it was kind of a way to kind of celebrate honey and focus on what beekeepers and the whole honey industry brings to to you know marketing and the world and um, it's just to celebrate all things honey and to bring focus to that industry so today I am going to be doing a little taste testing of different honeys because we all know what the traditional honey tastes like but um, there are so many variations on the market if you actually browse the honey aisle it's kind of I never paid attention until I uh, got the idea to do this video and then it's really crazy how many different honey styles there are so I haven't tried all the honeys on the market it's probably impossible to do so but I kind of have a sampling here of ones I do want to try and um, so I want to get right to it I'm going to be um, I toasted these crumpets I bought these Trader Joe's British style crumpets and because um, I thought crumpets were kind of like the perfect blank canvas to be able to taste the full flavor of the honey because basically crumpets don't have much flavor they just soak up whatever you put on them and I didn't put any butter or anything so they're just plain cut them up in nice little pieces so I can taste the honeys I also wanted to taste these. They're also from Trader Joe's. Slightly sweet milk and honey cookies. So I got these first and then I saw these. So I just decided, well, I'm gonna get them all and I'm gonna sample them all right here. So let me open these. This will be the first time I'm trying these. And they are a honey related product. So I figure they fit right into this video. Um, like little pouches. Maybe they already broke in half, so they're very fragile, delicate. Oh, they're very good. They are they're exactly what they taste like, slightly sweet milk and honey, like a biscuit. are very good. I found them at Trader Joe's and I never actually saw them before. So that's a new product. There's always something new even though you think you've tried everything. But um, they do have their own flavor so they probably wouldn't be the best experiment to sample honey. So um, I'm glad I got the trumpets. Okay so let's get right to it. Of course we all know what regular pure honey tastes like so I'm not going to try that today but I do uh, want to try everything else and I'm excited to especially excited to try this brand new product it's New Zealand company's uh, raw manuka honey 
This is supposed to be so good for you health-wise. It's actually uh, many benefits to your health. Um, this bottle alone costs uh, roughly around $23 on Amazon. And there's some honeys in the same kind of um, raw manuka honey style that are like $100 or more. It's crazy how much some honeys can cost. But um, the company sent me this as a sample to try on my video here. So um, I'm going to do that right now. So honey has a natural, is a natural like, has anti microbe. So I'm not sure how to say it properly, but like it, it helps fight like sore throats and kind of bacteria. And this one is like, people take it by the teaspoon because it's so thick. It's just like a medicine. So if you have a cough or a sore throat, I imagine this would be great for that. But um, I'm going to try it on the crumpet. So it is super thick. It's like uh, jelly. And that's what it looks like. So, it, it, it's, it's, it's very thick, it's kind of like more of medicinal honey, is what I would classify it as. Yes, it's very palatable. It's good to eat plain, but there is that kind of, there's a little tinge of medicinal flavor to it. So I can see how it would have health benefits. So it's not so much as like a food cooking kind of honey, but I think it would be good stirred into hot tea or just um, just eat a, a spoonful if you're feeling like you want those nutritional benefits. And this one is um, scientifically tested, the 263 plus potency scale so I had no idea honey had all these different classifications and varieties and and I had no idea of all this about honey so I'm learning something new during honey month but I mean it's good so definitely if it's good for you I definitely would recommend this product just take a teaspoon daily and you get your health benefits and um, now I'm going to move on to Trader Joe's Multi Floral and Clover Honey. So um, this one is for your traditional table honey. I have tried this in the past as far as putting in teas. It's a dinner texture, so it's the classic honey texture. So this one's good. This one's your classic honey. This is probably uh, basically this, just just in a different verbiage and a different brand, of course. So this is your classic honey. So that gets a thumbs up. And now this is something I've never tried before: raw, unfiltered Hawaiian macadamia nut blossom and multi-floral honey from Trader Joe's. So, this is also, it has a thin consistency, good for drizzling onto stuff. So I was curious because of the macadamia nuts in there, if that would change the flavor. Well, this one's really good to eat plain. This one has a like a really nice, smooth, sweet flavor. 
So this one I would recommend to like, this would be really good like drizzled over cornbread. Also would be good in tea. I think they all would be good in hot tea. That's how I usually have it. But this one's really good. And then I chose this one from Ralph's. It's the raw and unfiltered honey. It's Simple Truth. I really like Simple Truth products. And um, the thing is, is that it's sourced from Snowpell Beekeepers. So I thought that would be a nice addition to this video. And a nice um, trial here for my taste test. So again, it's, it's, it's thin, it's easy to pour, just like the traditional one. One says it has sweet and floral with notes of citrus and sage. I kind of do taste a little variation in there. This reminds me like it would be really good as a dipping sauce for chicken McNuggets or like you know chicken tenders of any variety. So this was a really this is actually this actually tastes better than this one. Last but not least, I'm a little scared to try hot honey with chilies. I always see hot honey on the shelves, but I've never tried it. So, I'm about to. Hope I don't start choking or something. So it has a darker, like slightly reddish tinge from the chilies. Good. I'm gonna take that back. This would be excellent on chicken tenders. And yeah, this would make an amazing dipping saucer for you know your plain old chicken tender. This is actually really good. Because it has honey, chili, sugar, salt, garlic, vinegar. It's like a sauce in itself. I was afraid of it, but it's actually really, really good. If you like kind of spicy, and this is Kroger brand. I like the little bear bottle shaped bottles. But that's just surprisingly good. So actually all the honeys were very good, in my opinion. I think my least favorite was the traditional, like the one I had in my cabinet. Like, of course I love the bare bottle, but like as far as taste-wise, this was my least favorite. And then this one is more medicinal, so I would definitely take it to get the health benefits. And so, um, yeah, this, uh, I'll put the link below where you can buy it on Amazon. It's just under $23 for um, this kind of variety. And then they also have different strains as well. But I'll put any information on um, below in the description box on where to buy this. Because uh, as far as medicinal properties and health-wise, this would be the winner. I don't think these would be um, as good for your health so celebrating honey month we want to celebrate that honey does wonders for your health so yeah um, that's what I would use this one for I would keep it just for that and I would also put in a tease because you can stir around the thickness and it'll dissolve in the in the hot water um, but they're all really good this one is a surprising winner and then these two almost taste the same, but either one would be really good on cornbread or drizzled on whatever kind of, you know, cake or however you want to use it to make it a little sweet. Um, yeah, but that's my honey taste test. I, I was excited. I, I, I discovered new things about honey. 
I got to taste all these different varieties and there's more out there, believe it or not. There's more honey varieties, but anyway, that's my ode to September being National Honey Month. And again, wishing everybody out there a very happy and safe Labor Day. And as always, don't forget, live, laugh, love, and eat. And talk to you guys later. See ya.